All right, let's talk about adding audio to an image. I've done a couple of things in preparation for this. I thought about what I wanted to say about this dolphin at sunset picture. And I also recorded my deep thoughts on my phone and I've already emailed it to myself. You can airdrop it, whatever. Uh, and it's sitting on the desktop of my computer. Now, one of the things I've noticed is that ArtSteps limits you to a four megabyte file for both audio and video, which is pretty small. I've done same recordings on phone and the same recording on my computer. And without messing with the settings on my computer, the computer file has always been larger. So my recommendation at this point is to record on your phone. It seems to generate a smaller file size. If you're having issues with this um, and you're in my class, you know how to reach me and we can try and sort it out. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of the audio. So I'm going to move my pointer over to the left hand gallery of images and click on the edit button for my dolphin sunset picture. And I'm focusing right here where it says audio. Right now there is none. So I'm going to choose a file and go get it. It's sitting here on my desktop. Click open. Now you can preview it. I took this picture of a dolphin at sunset. There we go. It's previewed. Um, Supported formats, MP3, WAVE, or OGG. This is uh, an M4A file. It still seems to be happy. If you encounter difficulties, though, let's talk and sort it out. As always, I'm totally here to help. Uh, and otherwise, I have this ready to go. I'm going to click on Save. And it's already updated my image. Let me do a quick save to save the entire gallery. And we're going to go to view mode. Waiting for it to load. All right, awesome. There's my Crooked Otter picture. But let's take a walk over here to Dolphin at Sunset. Click it. And if you look in the top left corner, I took this picture of a dolphin at sunset on it automatically plays the audio and the description that I had entered earlier also appears below that. This is a really rich and interesting way to enhance your exhibit. If you had a picture of someone that you'd done a brief interview with, you could include that. Um, if there was a sound effect that you wanted to apply to this image, you could apply that as well. So you have a lot of different options. Plus, of course, just offering the backstory on how or why you took the photograph. Once you've associated an audio file with an image, it travels across all the galleries where that image has been placed. So you don't have to re-upload it. Now let's talk briefly about video. Um, video is also limited to a four megabyte file and i will show you really quickly oh well let me save you some time i don't think it's functional but if you want to watch and see why let's take a look so i'm going to go over to the videos tab and add video and you'll see maximum size is four megabytes um that's really small for video i'm not even attempting to make a video that's four megabytes in size uh, you can try to upload from a URL. I've tried to link or embed a YouTube video and uh, it swirls for a while and then ultimately is unsuccessful. So your experience may be different, but at this point, as much as I'd love to embed a video in the gallery, and I think it would be amazing, the small file size of four megabytes makes it not a reasonable choice. So that covers the good of audio and the challenge of video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.